Hello, welcome to the update. I'm Susie Thompson. A small community has been left devastated following a single vehicle crash south of Sydney. Five teenagers aged between 14 and 16 were killed when a ute collided with a tree in Buxton. The 18-year-old driver survived the crash. Blaze is a friend of one of the victims and visited the site with her family. Feeling a bit shocked and still finding it hard to believe it. She was my best friend and she was like an old sister to me. I'm just going to remember her about like her laugh and her smile and she was always happy. Speed and an overloaded vehicle are said to be factors in the devastating crash. Travellers arriving from 70 countries with foot and mouth disease have been banned from bringing in any meat products. The federal government is taking additional steps to stop FMD from entering the nation. Com- commercial imports of high-risk products from Indonesia are already being stopped at the border. A police officer has been stabbed and a man's been shot after a search warrant turned ugly in Brisbane. Four officers arrived at a unit in Kangaroo Point this morning and after some negotiations to enter, they were confronted by a male from another unit. It's alleged the 38-year-old stabbed a male senior constable in the chin with a 20-centimetre knife. Detective Superintendent Andrew Massingham says he then refused to stand down. One shot was fired by a a junior uh, female uniform officer. The offender immediately fell to the ground, was disarmed and first aid was was applied immediately. He's in a critical condition in hospital undergoing surgery while the officer is stable. A jury has found a New South Wales woman guilty of helping to kidnap a Brisbane school teacher. Anthony Stott was tied to a chair for several hours on a property south of Tweed Heads in 2020. The 43-year-old died soon after he was released when he was hit by a truck on the M1. 41-year-old Lauren Granger was one of three people charged over the incident and she's been found guilty of aggravated kidnapping. Consumer spending in cafes, accommodation and on recreational pursuits has given the Australian economy a boost. Latest data shows the economy grew 0.9% in the three months till June. A boost in resource and agricultural exports also helped, but the federal government is warning of challenges ahead. In sport, Nick Kyrgios has gone down in an epic five-setter in the quarterfinals of the US Tennis Open. Karen Hutchinov has ousted the Aussie 6-4 in the fifth set to move through to a semi-final against Kasper Ruud. Fellow Awazi Isla Tomljanovic has also gone down fighting, losing 6-4, 7-6 to fifth seed Ons Jabeur. She'll meet Caroline Garcia in the semis after the French woman ousted US young gun Coco Goff in straight sets. And in cricket, Aussie all-rounder Cameron Green is hoping to become an all-format player. The 23-year-old made an unbeaten 89 in Australia's two-wicket win over New Zealand in last night's opening one day, and he says he's waiting for his time in the 2020 format. In entertainment news, Justin B. Bieber has suspended his Justice World Tour, saying he needs to focus on his mental health. It was due to run until March next year. It's the latest concern for the Canadian superstar, who was affected by Ramsey Hunt syndrome in June. And rappers Swizz Beats and Diddy are backing Kanye West in his beef with Adidas. Diddy has vowed to never wear the brand again in an Instagram post, while Swizz Beats has also urged Adidas to do the right thing on social media. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast news team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.